Well, hello, Merlins and Serlins. I'm the F-Bomb here at Nick Rowing, and welcome back to another Star Trek Online video. Um, we're doing another showcase here, and this time we're going to be messing around with the um, Vulcan Tapau scout ship. I have it equipped right now, so uh, let's look at it. It's a Tier 6 ship. It comes with a bunch of cans. This is very basic stuff. But it does come with this universal uh, rebounding resonant frequency. Um, it looks like it does a bunch of hull stuff. And it targets damage ourself. It reflects damage dealt back to the foe. That sounds really cool. I don't know what this entails. I've never messed with this ship. I don't even remember how I got it. But let's uh, let's first look at it. See if there's any customization. Now the Vulcan ships are cool. I actually have a bunch of pictures of this on my DeviantArt. But if you want to check it out, uh, YouTube screwed my channel up, so you got to check it out at DeviantArt, fbombheart at DeviantArt.com. It looks interesting, but you know, I think Type Two is the stock ship. Like if I do this and then scouts, yeah, Type Two is the scout. It looks fine on its own. I mean, we could do Orion, but I, I really don't think this adds anything to it. For once, I'm like, I'm not feeling the Orion stuff. Because it's a Vulcan ship. It's really just supposed to look, uh, you know, regular. You know, they're not all about looking, making their stuff look pretty. So let's just go check it out. Now, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of small. And hey, that's cool. It doesn't have to be giant. But, yeah, it's a, it's a cool looking ship. It almost looks like a Predator face. It's very different for a Star Trek ship. It almost doesn't fit, like, everything. Now, it's got a whole bunch of stations here. It looks like it's three, it's four universal and then one science. That's different than I was expecting. Although this looks like it's supposed to be a, an intel. What is this guy again? I don't even remember. Yeah, it, intelligence. So it, it does look like this is meant to have at least one intelligence officer. Unless he is. No, he's not an intelligence officer. So yeah, it looks like there's. it's meant to have one intelligence officer. That's cool. Well, let's get out of here. No, nope, wrong button. We have a bunch of vanity shields to look at, too. You know, it's a shame I can't really zoom in at all to this ship. But we'll keep her like that, and let's go through our vanity shields. We have... Let's start with the Alliance. My favorite. Ooh, that actually does look nice on this. Damn, I probably should have had this... Had Gabe Print do this as an Alliance. Oh, the shields look... The engines look good. Damn, I should have had... Game print through that one. Maybe I could go look and see if someone has. All right, after after the alliance, we will do the Aegis, which really just does a bunch of highlights. They look cool. The engines look a little better. After the Aegis, let's do Bajorn, which is just like a bunch of weird shield paneling. It actually gives it like almost a scaly look. The engines look cool again. Interesting. This thing is like very wolfy. After Bajorn will be the assimilated regenerative boar crap. Which looks pretty cool. Didn't do much to the engines. It does look cool. After that we have the derelict oscillation. I think I looked this up last time that this is supposed to be Breen Hull. It looks very odd. Green engines this time. Textures are so strange. After that, we get the Gem Hadar, which also looks pretty tame. I wish I could zoom in more, but I can't zoom in here in sector space. Oh, God, that sun hurts my eyes. I'm sorry if it hurts your eyes. And our last pair of vanity shields is the Riemann prototype. And oh, yeah. Riemann always looks good. Ah, my eyes. This always looks good. 
But we're not going to do any of that. We're going to go ahead and get this thing into combat and fly a little bit into space to do it as well. And we get a little space shot here of it in the space. These space shots always look cool, man. Like that engine just looks good. Yeah. It's too bad I can't get any closer. Now, on to this, the Quantum Slipstream, which of course comes out of the front, and it just goes through the slipstream. Now, it is interesting that this came with phaser turrets, all this phaser stuff. I would have thought that a Vulcan ship would have came with other things that was not phasers. It does also have a mastery thing, where you can get some weapon upgrades, some exotic damage, critical severity, restorative circuitry, and the final thing here is emergency response teams. Does extra secondary shields. That's cool. But that's only if you upgrade it. All right, if you haven't seen me before, we go through this. Wow, he's really up there. He's not supposed to be that high. Uh, you speak to the Defari. They're here. I think this window here is different for this ship. That's probably why he's so high. So this is just for the Vulcan ship. You suggest a trade. You don't pay. You offer something else. You continue. You find another approach. You analyze the risk. You, the, you attempt a pulse, and then you do the pulse. Yeah, and then you can leave, but we're going to provoke to get into the fight a little bit. So first, it's number one for this pulse thing. Did they hit me? Well, they did, and it looked like it went right back. We can hit all the space and do all the combat here. They should be, like, actually doing... Should be reflecting the damage back at them. Interesting little ship, and then we have this that came with it too. A sensory analysis, but that don't do much. Let's see. I don't really have any turret stuff. Oh, they missed. Cool. It is kind of funny seeing a Vulcan ship do a bunch of fighting. And it really is like forward heavy on its stuff. Yeah, I don't have anything for that. Uh, let's see, let me get that off me. Oh, I didn't know that's what that did. What is this one? That's what shield strength. Oh, I should put this more on weapons, too. Do myself a little more damage. It's been a while, man. Does this even really do anything? I don't think it's doing enough. Let's see the same thing. Oh, it did just hit them back. Oh, okay. Interesting little device. Oh, there we go, baby. Oh, we got the shields back, damn.
Yeah. Oh, damn, they're healing? What? There we go, baby. Yeah. Nice. No, I hit the wrong button. I hope they didn't mess us up. Uh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to keep fighting. I'll take this trash. And then, uh, yeah, we depart. That's it. So, hey, that was cool. That's it. That's all we got here for the, uh... Oh, yeah, we got a reward. Yeah, well, that's what we got here with the uh, Vulcan to Pow scout ship. I have a lot of ships that I still haven't gone through. So I hope you guys enjoyed us. We have more. I'm the F-Bomb here, Nick Rowan. Come back, be a friend. We love friends.